the build up to this. And this dude is as dangerous and deadly as he is intelligent. Now, is, does Nico have an MMA record or no, Muay Thai so record? He has only been training folks. He's been training for uh, about a year or so, and he had, or a couple of years, excuse me, and he had no training before going with Don Walton. So he walked into that gym and he started there. He plans on carrying his career out there with Don Walton over at Saratoga Muay Thai Alliance MMA. And that's really a great team. You can have these guys take you all the way if you want to. Now, Nico Scolomero, speaking of MMA, this is a guy that does plan to transition to MMA at some point, but he wants to do it the smart way. He's done some grappling competitions, a little bit of jujitsu. Now he's gonna get into the Muay Thai, see how that works, and then eventually he'll start to blend these arts together. Saratoga Muay Thai has multiple fighters on tonight's fight card as well. This is just the first from their team. We'll see uh, more of their fighters in the next two fights as well. And that's a busy man in Don Walton. You got, you got three fights in a row. Excuse me, we, we do have a break after this one. Let's go, uh, Jack. We got Sean Murphy. And he's coming up next out of the Saratoga Muay Thai team. Julian Nephew, here he is, folks, come fighting on. out of Lotus Combat. Come on, come on. This guy was supposed to have a fight back at Battle and Barry 5 versus AJ Barton. I have no clue why that was canceled. So the warm up, the camp, the weight cut, nothing new to this gentleman. Let's see how everything translates into the cage now that he's finally able to make this walk for the first time. Now, do you know, Ben, is this his debut fight? I believe so. I was not able to find anything on him as far as uh, Muay Thai or mixed martial arts experience goes on tapology.com. So if he's got a few smokers, I'm not sure. We will have to find out here. <laughs> this will be an interesting fight from two fighters relatively new to the Muay Thai game. And this fight as well scheduled for three, two, or this is a, a mixed martial arts fight, excuse me. So we are or no, Muay Thai, I have the wrong paper here. So yes, we are scheduled for three two-minute rounds here in Donnie Brooks' lightweight division. That's 155 pounds. A little heavier than some of the other fights we'll see tonight, but still be able to have some fast pace, lighter hits compared to our more heavyweight competitors. And that's something I didn't notice until you pointed that out. I think the heaviest fight we have on here is our, uh, our welterweight fight between Chris Perot and Kenyon Moore. We do have a middleweight fight coming up at 185. That'll be an MMA fight. Third man in, Steve Rita, one of the greatest in the game today. Again, we've got Julian Nephew in the red corner with the red tape on his gloves. Nico in the blue corner with the blue tape, and we're off. Touch gloves. Some of the things I heard about, oh wow. this I'm expecting Nico to come out very aggressive here, knowing how he gets trained and knowing how he trains with Don Wall, and we should see one hell of an animal here out of Nico Scalamara. And he just keeps going with the jab, not seeing much combos, little trading onesies here. There nice we go. leg kick. Nice cutting in here by Nico, but he backs out. Maybe got uh, didn't like one of those left hand offerings from Mr. Nephew. There was some nice trades in the pocket there. Oh, just caught him with that left is Nico. But beautiful head movement here nice by type, Julian Nephew. Nice by, <clears throat> by Julian. Nico had a nice leg kick in there, trading leg kick back, but didn't quite connect. So it makes you wonder now here with these guys wearing the shin pads, are the calf kicks as effective as they would be without the shin pads? Boy, not, not quite, but boy, getting kicked in that nerve pocket right above the knee there can really do a lot of damage. Excellent kick there. And to call to your credit, we saw that with Sugar Sean O'Malley versus Cheeto Vera in the UFC. That calf kick landing right below the knee, shutting down that nerve cluster as that is where Mr. Nephew aims. But Scalamero returning fire with a heavy right hand. They are really trading those punches back and forth, but it doesn't look like any of them are really causing any significant damage. 
And does that speak to the chin and conditioning of both of these gentlemen? These I guys think so. Both train in legitimate Muay Thai gyms. Nico really he's starting to it pour it on there. here. Wow. Firing back is Julian Nephew, but he's eating some shots here. Yeah. He really needs to do something to better his position here as they clinch up. This is good though for Julian Nephew. This gives us an opportunity to recover yep. as the ref separates him. You have to remain active in those clinches as the crowd here is deafening. Couldn't even hear the bell for the round. I didn't ending. even hear the bell either. It's a good thing Steve Rita did because I would have let him keep fighting. I didn't hear a damn thing. And as Steve said during the instructions at the beginning of the fight, sometimes fighters don't hear the bell and they keep fighting. They have to protect themselves at all times. The referees are there to break up the fight when the round is over. It's a really good end by Nico of that round. He got some really great shots there in the last 10, 20 seconds of the round. Julian really on the defensive there. As you said, man, getting into that clinch, able to kind of take a break for the last couple of seconds there. Both fighters getting instructions from their coaches, cooling down for a second. Neither one of them taking a, uh, a bench there. Both standing up, ready to go. We got to figure too, the amount of leg kicks these guys ate, is it going to be a lot more painful and harder to get off that stool if you sit down? Oh, it could be. Second fight of the night here, folks, three to the ground, boy time. As the crowd erupts here in Mary Vermont. Rescue Rita, checking Nico's chin guards there. And we're off. Fighters touch gloves. There we go, a nice leg kick. That was an excellent combo by Nico in the blue gloves there. It's nice to see some more combos in this fight. I want to see, though, if we pick up in the action or if that pace in the last round tired these guys out. Julian does seem to be a little more defensive in this round. Nico on the offensive. Nico had him lit up there in that first round with that combination up against the fence. Yeah, he so really did. I think we're, tr we're seeing Julian Neff, he want to be smarter about some of his entries and some of his combinations here as he finishes that one off with a leg kick. A little clinch work here. Let's see if anyone can land some knees in this clinch. Steve Reeder breaking him up. Still trying to fix that shin guard here on the left leg of Nico Scalamero. Maybe some of those kicks are splitting the tape. Julian going for a body punch there, but didn't quite connect. Yeah, I gotta say that was a nice setup on that one there by Nico Scalamero, feigning nice, the right, heading him with the left. Nice knee by Julian there at the end of that clinch. A nice teep kick. Oh, Ooh, nice body shot. A couple of body shots there from Nico. Nico swinging like you stole from him. Oh, kick to the body there by Julian Nephew. Another teep to follow that up. Oh, nice kick by Julian and then a nice sweep by Nico. I wonder if that was more of a sweep or if he just kind of slipped and fell there. I'm not sure. I, I didn't really have a good angle on it. It looks like a sweep to me. Nico getting in there, working in the pocket. Julian throwing a nice round of kicks there, and it's the end of the second round. Boy, that was an incredibly close round. We could potentially be looking at a 1-1 situation heading into the third here. Let's see what the urgency is like from the corner of Julian Nephew, because you have to assume with my uneducated brain here that Nico won that first round. I would say so, yeah, absolutely. That last combo for Nico up against the cage was an excellent end of the first round. Second round, very close. Trading kicks back and forth. Nice sweep there, a couple of combo rounds. But not a clear victor in my opinion on that second round. See how they do going into the third round. Both competitors seem to be holding up the energy. to the last round of this three-round Muay Thai fight. The crowd erupts again. 
Yeah, this is one of the best crowds I've worked in a long time. Bobo and Barry crowds tend to be pretty rowdy. The fan favorite definitely seems to be Julian Nephew here as he's starting to unload. Nice body shot by Nico. Ooh, Julian nice Nephew there. may have just been kind of sitting through that second round to because he looks like a new man coming into this he third round. He really does. Oh, right hook. That was man, beautiful. Man, he stepped in with that and planted it. Let's see if he can combo. It doesn't seem to have slowed down Nico at all. No, I think that awoke a beast inside of Scalamero as he looks like he's throwing even harder than he was before. Oh, he almost threw a knee to the head, but he was that's not allowed in this rule set here. Good save by Scalamero. Right here in front of us here. Oh, right. oh. Man, I would have spit out teeth on that one. Yeah, that was a really nice connection. Doesn't seem to have slowed Nico down one No, bit, man, though. it just pissed him off. Look yeah. at him go. Oh, wow. Oh, this These fight could be really close to being stopped here. here. Scalamero trying to get the, the distance oh. here to pour on the pressure. Julian Nephew is gassed. You can tell he's he's just lost all his energy. This could be the end of the fight. He's still holding on to some technique though, ducking below that hook of Nico. You hear the corner of Don Walton telling them to pressure and finish this fight. That's what he's got to do at this point. Nico had that first round. Looks like he's got this third round. Well, pretty depending clearly. on how this ends, man. You can hear the corner of Scalamero just screaming to him. Ten seconds left. Let's see if they can finish out this fight with a ball. That's what we oh. got for sure. Oh. Swinging for the faces. Nico's really knocked There we go. Everybody on their feet. That was Massive a round of applause fight. to these two incredible combatants. What a fight so far. Already contender for fight of the night. Absolutely. Boy, were they trading hits at the end there. Now we have our corners coming in. We'll get the decision from the judges here shortly. All right, well, I'll see you in there, my friend. Boy, what a great end to the fight. Trading punches back and forth. I think Nico had that third round. He really caught some very clean punches in there. Julian keeping the technique up right through the end of that fight. This is gonna be a very close, close call on the judges. We've got Rex Thompson passing the decision to our announcer. We should have a decision here in just a second. Yep, uh, no, no, next one. Split decision for Nico Scalamero. I think he earned that one. That was a very close fight, but boy, he got Julian Nephew in a couple of really tight exchanges there. I'm feeling good, it's great to, you know, happy for a here. I was gonna ask you about some of the shots in there, and you caught me with the kick in that last round that had me spitting out teeth over here in the commentary booth. Did that happen to stun you at all, or did you seem like to walk right through it? It was definitely an impressive shot, felt it for sure. But that, uh, hopefully everybody saw after that, I kind of flicked the button and had to turn up a notch after that. And you can see that some of those shots were just angry at my friend as soon as we were able to pull out the decision here tonight. Were you surprised that it was split? No. No, I wasn't surprised. Uh, like I said, Julian was an amazing opponent. I'm going to ask for a better opponent after this fight. Hopefully he gets the same. Well, you did enough to get the nod here, man. It's not going to be here for this fight. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Nico Scullin. Put your hands together for these guys. They didn't leave anything out there. Are we ready for the next one? Right Before we get to the next one, how about a round of applause for Rex Thompson, Brendan?
Thompson. Yeah. 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 Yeah.